In the following research piece, the evidence for tactical concealment is analysed in a reproductive context. Data of such research that is not portrayed in a captive environment is so far almost entirely absent from literature until now. Here, it is discovered how deception and punishment are depicted on a totally wild animal, a gelata, by altering their behaviour. Punishment issued can result in future behaviour modification, shown by cooperation. It was hypothesised that geladas use deception and punishment in maximising the success of their reproductive rates. This experiment takes place in the Simeon Mountains National Park in Ethiopia, where data is collected from 73 males and 134 females over continuous observation over five years. The method of observation included many focal samples and surveillance of all behaviours, distances between the animals, gain samples for the distances between the leaders and the followers, and finally, all aggressive and sexual behaviours displayed. In the results, the behaviours noted are grouped into stable and unstable conditions. This is due to the natural takeovers experienced by the group when a male leader is challenged and overtaken. The vulnerable group now displays elevated fighting and extra pair copulations within the next three months. Each copulation event was characterised as either within pair copulation involving a leader male or extra pair copulation involving a follower male. This graph looks at a percentage of silent extra pair copulations and to what distance each gender used for deception. In this second comparison, graph A represents the proportion of silent female gelata during copulation and graph B the male. These indicate the within pair and extra pair copulations during stable and unstable conditions with with extra pair acquiring the most silent data, indicating the deception tactics of the primate species. In agreement with the first two predictions, the follower males and unit females suppress the copulation vocalisation, typical of within pair copulations. These gelatas also appear to strategically modify their behaviour when the risk of detection by the dominant male is high. The results show the gelatas' reproductive concealment to be tactical, as they strategically modify their behaviour to, re to reduce the risk of detection by the dominant male. This study has proven the idea of evolution and punishment among groups but also raises the issue of how punishment and other forms of competition can be differentiated. The gelata species population calls exhibit an audience effect or inside competition between males or may provide alternate meanings. Overall, the research undertaken to determine how deception, tactics and punishment is portrayed in a natural habitat, shown by the gelata species, proves positive. Data of extra pair copulations, as opposed to within pair copulations, indicates slight deception between these partners of the group. Punishment is taken to those by the dominant male, but does not influence the total control over future behaviour. The knowledge of this research allows scientists to further undermine the social behaviour of these gelatas through their behavioural strategies.